Yorana, and welcome back to FM Tahiti. Hope you're all well and ready for this, well, first ever international game we're going to play in this save. So it's our friendly, so it's not a competitive one, but it's the Marquesa Islands against uh, Kiribati. So Kiribati are, um, if I remember correctly, they'd have a world ranking because they're a non-FIFA sides that are, I say local side, they're uh, aside from Oceana and they just, they play friendlies, uh, they take part in some of the kind of Oceana national competitions but they don't take part in the FIFA competitions like World Cup qualifiers or the World Cup um, itself. So they're not a particularly strong side, we should be able to beat them when, if we look at our schedule in the past, so we have played them in the past, I believe most teams will have. This is the first time we've ever played Kiribati. Okay, so years ago, we beat them 3 1. Um, if we look at Kiribati's schedule, frequently, the American Samoa, they managed to draw against the Austral Islands, lost to Micronesia, lost to Tahiti Societies, Fiji, Vanuatu. Uh, Bass Islands, Drew Solomon Islands, lost to um, Tuvalu. So they they don't have many wins. Wins. They're not a great side. So we've got our squad together. Just put the bench together. So we've got a few here and there. Just filling up with whoever we've got there. Are we? This is a friendly. We get to fill it with everyone. This is what we're going with. I have close to zero faith in this. I, I think, I just feel like I've done something wrong, but I'm going to go with it. See how play. We'll give it these two friendlies at the very least before I panic. Favourites for reason? Going out. Special day. It's our 211th, 211th game in management. See how this goes. So that's a long ball straight away. It's not what we wanted. I think Miller is the Millot is the Maxi Millot is the um, deep line playmaker. So he's the one who's allowed to take longer passes if need be to try and unlock things. That was a terrible pass. So I've told them to regroup rather than press. I'm wondering if that's going to be a mistake. Keep our shape, I guess, but... Lights them on. I did want to try and get away from the kind of full-on pressing, because pretty much every tactic in FM now seems to be that pressing approach. Sure idea. Bounced around a bit. He's the one who went up to Ibiza. So he's the one who's made it all the way to um, Spain, so he's had the longest journey to come and play this friendly against Kiribati. I kind of would have expected him to say no, I wouldn't have blamed him. Good free kick there. I've not set up any of the set pieces, so they're just on their defaults as well. Another free kick. I didn't put play for free kicks on or play for set pieces on, so this is just them naturally fouling us. Not got many kind of flowing moves just yet. Over the top, there he goes. So that was Maxi Miller being the playmaker and throwing that one in there. So that's actually worked out all right. Is this number eight? Is that? Ah, 
That's the other defense me feels. I was worried that it was the Shadow Strike for a second, it was just too far back. Oh, really? That did not last long. That is just poor defending. Gifted them that. I mean, having someone on line kind of worked in the first instance, not in the second. Couldn't react quick enough to actually do anything once the ball was in front of them. Had to ask a lot of the players if they wanted to declare for the team. So there was a lot of young players who could potentially play for France or Spain, I think. We managed to persuade quite a few it's coming to play for us. Let's still win this. I think I want to win first and foremost. I'm not going to make too many changes just yet. One or two players who can come on. So, Thomas and Huet, for example, actually quite good players who could do something. Plus, well, it wasn't in the end, but you know. Not holding out much hope for us playing against the Central African Republic if we're struggling with Kiribati. It's the 65th minute, and then let's make a few changes. So that's why it's useful to have that shadow strike there, I guess, for the breaks. Well, that was a good move. That was a really good counter. I got counter on? I don't even think I've got counter on in the instructions. No, no, we do have counter on, that's alright. I can claim credit for that one. So let's bring Teha on for Shredet. Sebastian Thomas on for Rue. The Rue just scored that goal. Prost on for Delmas. Pierre Daniel on for Mugin, I guess. Mugin, Mugin. Aubrey on for Bar. That should do it. That's definitely enough substitutions, isn't it? So I think the strongest of the Polynesian national sides is definitely Tahiti. Bigger player pool, better quality players. But Marquesa should be the next in terms of the size of the player pool because the amount of clubs. But they also not got many teams in the Premiership, so they've not got many massively successful teams. The kind of infrastructure is not there yet. And I guess it's the same for the Austral Islands. It's it's the humpbacks who are the kind of the good team for the Austral Islands. So we're providing slightly better players for them, but it's a lot for one club to do. That was a good move. I mean that was from longer than I'd planned, but starting to come together. Add it down. Daniel goes shot to Miller. Do it in that kind of little, not quite pocket. I think the fact he was such a good finish made the whole move look better than it actually was. He was actually quite far out when he got the ball, so it wasn't like he was running onto it in space and it's some kind of big flowing move. He's just lots of passes and a long shot. Maybe I need pass into space on or something like that to get them moving around a bit more. If it stays 3-1, that's okay. See, they had a sloppy goal, but managed to score three. I'm happy enough with that. 
obviously, if you then play the Bass Islands, you get completely wrecked. Not less happy, but... It's not like we've been completely quiet and played terrible football. So there we go, 3-1. Good win. I, don't, I need to sell my staff as well. I've not actually set up my staff. He's 20 and he's made 33 appearances. That's not... Oh, it's for the club, not for us. There we go. First win. First international win. Not bad going. And we will come back in a minute or two for the next one against the Bass Island, potential rivals. And we're back for a match against the Bass Islands. And whilst we've been waiting for this match... Um, just had the groups drawn for the um, Nations Cup. So, it wasn't that long ago. There we go. So, these are the groups. And we're in a group with the Austral Islands. So, that'll be interesting. They've got a reasonably strong side. Uh, the Bass Islands, which we're about to play in a friendly. But remember, if you cast your mind back, they managed to make it all the way to the World Cup playoffs. So they managed to beat Tahiti in the qualifying rounds and then played Uruguay and then lost to Uruguay. So they're the team that come closest to World Cup qualification out of all of us. And then Tahiti Saiti is the strongest side. So we've got two very strong sides, a decent side. We do miss out on having to play New Zealand and Fiji. I'm not too bothered about Tuamotis or Vanuatu, to be honest. But... It's, it's not actually an easy draw by just avoiding New Zealand anymore. Especially as it's the top two that get through. Let's see how we do against uh, the Marcus Rylands. So Prost is injured. Take him off. There's nothing we can do about that. Uh, Girardet is also carrying an injury. Let's bring on Teo Hutt instead. Let's see how we do. Go for a 4-4-2. Press me. Only one of them is motivated. Good chance. I won't say we're favourites. Maybe like rankings we are, but I think they've got a decent side. Depending how we play as well in the second half, I might switch on pass into space to see how it changes things. It might not. Might not do anything. One half more probably not enough to test there. Let's test this sort of out with, but we'll see. But, you know, a quiet start. I'm kind of looking forward to testing the team against slightly stronger opposition. I think one of the... I don't it's not necessarily a problem, but the AI managers just tend to have friendlies against other Oceana teams. So they, they play their friendlies within the continent, essentially, which is kind of useful in terms of finding out how they're going to do against teams they might play in some of the cup competitions. It means their rankings always stay particularly low. And I want to try and improve the team's rankings to see if that also improves the youth um, specs. I don't know if it does. I read somewhere that it can have an impact, or at least it could in previous versions. There we go. First highlight. Looks like it's going to be their highlight. Oh, it's just done him. Ooh. Why? Why didn't he just pick that one up instead of like scooping it back? We got away with that. Twice, potentially. Bar. Couple of Bar doesn't have a club. That was a nice move. Ultimately came to nothing, but it looked quite nice. I don't know why Bar's not got a team. He's the club he was at. He's got, got a good record with. Let's have a quick look. Seems nothing's really going on in the match. So he's at Uapoa. 21 league goals in 65. 18 goals last season. So he's not a slouch, is he? Surprised Uapoa didn't keep hold of him. But I think maybe his wage demands just got a bit too much for them. We tried to sign him and he was asking for like 700. 
we, this is before we had our takeover, so there's no way we were going to be able to afford that. Especially when we've got full strikers anyway. Can win this. Working hard, it'll come. I need to take off Bidalt. Otherwise, his club will complain. And Gross instead. That looked like he was going to trickle through for their striker. I, mean, I don't think we're particularly strong defensively. Oh, there we go. I mean, not massively against the runner play, but we've only had a few highlights, so it's difficult to tell what the runner play would be. Hmm. Let's see what we can do, Let's see if we can get back in this. Bit of a passing move. Triangles, but not much space. Tripping up over each other, it's not a good sign. After all that. I mean, at least we got shot off in the end. The movement's not quite there. Oh, really? Just didn't pick him up. Don't need to see that again. I just know that's bad defending. Before that, I was going to say, you know, the tactic seems to be all right. The issue we might be having is our central defenders aren't very good. So I'm going to need to look at for the next... For the next uh, sort of squad selection, see if there's anyone better we can bring in. Let's make some subs, let's get some people playing, get a few more caps. Row on. See how he does for Miller. He's not a defensive midfielder. Maybe he can do the deep line playmaker role. Two nil does flat them. It was more from good individual effort and an error than it was anything else. I completely forgot to put pass into space on. Judging from that move we saw, the one kind of move, it was a bit static. I mean, they were keeping hold of the ball, but it wasn't penetrating, which is why we ended up with that wayward kind of cross at the end. It's the last kick of the ball. It's pointless showing that. So there we go, 2 now We lost against Bass Island, who will be in our group later on. Um, bit of a shock loss, according to the, the news anyway. Yeah. But I'm going to tweak the tactics slightly, I think. And we'll come back in a month's time to play Micronesia. Interesting. Don't know if I'll, I'll record that one or not because it's it's fairly forward. We don't actually have the Nations Cup until the summer, so I might just play these friendlies. Well, the Micronesia friendly, I'll probably play. Um, that Central African Republic. We'll see. I'll see how I feel. I might just come back for the Bar uh, Buddha match, or I might put on another team. Depending how it goes against Central African Republic, I might end up with this friendly, but if not, we'll definitely come back for 
the Nations Cup, and we'll do that in full. So that'll be at the end of the season, so that should be interesting. Uh, but otherwise, it's going to be back to the league stuff. So thanks very much for watching, and I will see you later. Mm -hmm.